in this particular lecture we will talk about fertilizer we will study a lot of thing about fertilizer so what is fertilizer fertilizers are generally industrially manufactured chemicals that used to supplement to supply nutrient different nutrients for plant growth and development so basically when the soil fertility is less how soil fertility is lower soil having certain potential to supply certain nutrient in uh, suitable proportion so that is basically soil fertility the capacity of soil to uh, you know supply nutrient in suitable proportion and adequate quantity that is soil fertility so by different erosion process by plant uptake by uptake of nutrient by weeds and by leaching and different type of losses soil fertility depletes so to fulfill that depleted uh, status of the soil fertility we we can provide nutrient uh, by applying different uh, organic manures manure fym vermicompost organic fertilizers or we can use bio fertilizers to solubilize or mobilize the fixed nutrients or else we can use the fertilizers which are basically chemically manufactured uh, or manufactured synthetic products which has certain nutrient certain quantity of nutrient and that we are uh, providing uh, to, for plant growth right so that is basically fertilizer fertilizer are industrially manufactured chemicals containing plant nutrient so fertilizers if we see a fertilizer bag that will consist of the nutrient itself then uh, the conditioner condition that uh, that maintains the physical property of the soil for uh, the fertilizer then another one is filler material filler material means uh, that is one inert material which actually uh, that is the weighing material or inert material that uh, for easy ease in handling for uh, more storage life that should be added in the fertilizer so basically three four things are there in the fertilizer bag or container fertilizers are classified again in different uh, context they are being classified one is a uh, straight fertilizer that means straight fertilizer means it contains only single primary nutrient we know what is primary nutrient what is secondary nutrient what is micronutrient one is primary nutrient one is secondary nutrient first classification is micronutrient macronutrient one is macronutrient that means uh, it it the content of this nutrient are higher in the plant and another one is micronutrient the content uh, is less in dry matter so macronutrients are again classified into primary macronutrients secondary macronutrient primary macronutrients are nitrogen phosphorus and potassium secondary macronutrients are calcium magnesium and sulfur so uh, if that particular fertilizer what we are applying that contains only one primary macronutrient that means either n or p or k if it is supplying then that is called straight fertilizer like urea suppose for example urea urea only contains uh, nitrogen 46 percent so this can be regarded as a straight fertilizer then complex fertilizer means uh, it, it, it has the capacity to uh, provide more than one plant nutrient to the plant so like dap diammonium phosphate that contains uh, 18 percent nitrogen and 46 percent p2o5 okay so this is one example of complex fertilizer then mixed fertilizer this is physical mixture of two or more straight fertilizer or straight fertilizer with uh, mixed uh, com uh, complex fertilizer or complex fertilizer with complex fertilizer so this, this is the basically physical mixture of two or more fertilizer then that is called mixed fertilizer then another classification is high analysis fertilizer and low analysis fertilizer high analysis fertilizer means if the uh, total amount of primary nutrient contained in a fertilizer that constitute less than 25 percent okay uh, if the total primary nutrient contained in the fertilizer let's say ssp single superphosphate what is the primary nutrient content it contain only uh, phosphorus as primary nutrient and the phosphorus contained in ssp is 16 percent so that is less than 25 percent so that is one example of low analysis fertilizer ssp one example of low analysis fertilizer then uh, high analysis fertilizer dap that contains 18 percent nitrogen and 46 percent p 5 so these are both primary nutrient and 18 plus 46 it is more than 25 so that is dap is one example of high analysis fertilizer again urea urea it contains 46 percent nitrogen so it is a primary nutrient and 46 is greater than 25 so urea can be a high analysis fertilizer okay 
so these are basically different types of fertilizer again based on their nutrient content some are nitrogenous fertilizer some are phosphatic fertilizer some are potassium fertilizer okay again nitrogenous fertilizer are again classified into ammoniacal fertilizer amide fertilizer nitrate fertilizer both nitrate and ammoniacal fertilizer so they are accordingly classified then next thing is fertilizer grade what is fertilizer grade this is the guaranteed minimum nitrogen phosphorus and potassium content in a fertilizer material if we are taking one fertilizer bag what is the guaranteed minimum percentage of npk content np25 and k2 content in that fertilizer so uh, suppose dap the guaranteed minimum percentage of nitrogen should be 18 percent guaranteed minimum percentage of p2o5 that should be 46 percent that the minimum so that is fertilizer grade fertilizer ratio means what is the ratio of npk in the fertilizer ratio that should be like 2 is to 1 is to 1 or like that so that should be a ratio fertilizer grade means that is the percentage okay then coming to nitrogenous fertilizer nitrogenous fertilizer means mostly they supply nitrogen to the plant other nutrients also they supply but mostly they are applied to uh, fulfill the nitrogen demand so nitrogenous fertilizer again classified as i was talking nitrate fertilizer ammoniacal fertilizer amide fertilizer both nitrate and ammonium ammoniacal fertilizer so they are classified accordingly and their physical property their losses varies with the with their form of availability right if the form of availability is nitrate that means nitrate fertilizer then that will be more prone to leaching leaching loss will be higher then denitrification loss will be higher in case of nitrate fertilizer right then in case of ammoniacal fertilizer there is more fixation um, then volatilization loss will be more okay then amide fertilizer it has to convert in into nitrate or ammoniacal form for plant uptake right so these are different uh, nitrogenous fertilizer so for example ammonium sulfate it contains 21 percent nitrogen again 24 percent sulfur remember this thing this is being asked in different competitive exam ammonium sulfate contains 21 percent nitrogen and 24 percent sulfur ammonium chloride it contains 25 percent uh, nitrogen anhydrous ammonia it, it is it has the highest uh, quantity of nitrogen that is 83 percent ammonium nitrate 33 percent nitrogen calcium ammonium nitrate 25 percent nitrogen it is also called kisan khad kisan khad calcium ammonium nitrate urea contains 46 percent nitrogen calcium cyanamide contains 21 percent nitrogen then uh, nitrogen is prone to different type of losses as we uh, we are already discussing that leaching loss is there ammoniacal ammonium volatilization loss is there uh, then denitrification loss is there so to slow down that losses of nitrogen we can use slow release nitrogen fertilizer like ibdu that is isobutylidine diurea which contains 32.2 percent nitrogen crotonylidine diurea cdu that contains 32.5 percent nitrogen these are uh, slow release nitrogen fertilizer that means they will release the nitrogen slowly so that there will be the loss will be less and it will be more efficient the nitrification inhibitor they prevents the first step of nitrification that is ammonium to nitrite uh, and ni nitrite to nitrate so there are different you know nitrification in nitrification different uh, bacteria are involved in first process ammonium to nitrate nitrogenous is involved in ni nitrite to nitrate that is nitrobacteria is involved so basically nitrification inhibitor act on first step that is ammonium to nitrate once it convert to nitrate then that is very fast that it, it, it will convert to nitrate so it is mainly acted on uh, the first phase so what are the nitrification inhibitors like nitropyrin n sorb am thiourea dcd sulfathiazole these are called nitrification inhibitor then ureas inhibitor are there like nbpt uh, ppda phenyl phosphorodiamidate okay these are ureas inhibitor then losses of nitrogen oh, as you know leaching losses mostly nitrate nitrogenous fertilizer they are soluble in highly soluble in water and they are prone to leaching loss volatilization loss mainly when the soil condition is alkaline and high temperature condition is there there ammonia volatilization happens then denitrification if uh, there is submergence for prolonged time then the terminal oxygen of nitrate nitrogen that will be consumed by facultative aerobes and uh, that nitrogen again con it, it, will, it will convert to nitrate or uh, nitrogen oxide nitrous oxide again and it will release to the atmosphere then phosphatic fertilizer phosphatic fertilizers are classified as water soluble phosphatic fertilizer citric acid soluble phosphatic fertilizer and water and citric acid insoluble phosphatic fertilizer 
What are the examples of water soluble phosphatic fertilizer like SSP single superphosphate which contains 16% P2O5, DSP double superphosphate 32% P2O5, TSP for content 48% P2O5, ammonium phosphate 20% phosphorus 20% nitrogen, monoammonium phosphate MAP 48% phosphorus 11% nitrogen, ammonium phosphate sulfate 20% phosphorus 16% nitrogen, then citric acid soluble phosphatic fertilizer you, you must remember all these examples because they are being asked in different competitive exams. Citric acid soluble phosphatic fertilizer mainly basic slag 14 to 18 percent P2O5, DCP that is dicalcium phosphate 34 to 39 percent P2O5. Then water or citric acid insoluble phosphatic fertilizer that like rock phosphate 20 to 40 percent P, raw bone meal 2 to 2.5 percent P, steamed bone meal 22 percent phosphorus. So basically, what is their use? The water soluble phosphatic fertilizer they are mostly used in. Uh, short duration crop uh, which is having saline to uh, neutral soil and short duration crop mostly the water soluble phosphatic fertilizers are being used then citric acid soluble phosphatic fertilizer and uh, water and citric acid insoluble phosphatic fertilizer they are mostly used in long duration crop and when the soil is mostly acidic they are being used right then potassic fertilizer they are uh, classified uh, based on their like sulfur content okay uh, or chloride content one is chloride containing phosphatic fertilizer another is sulfur containing phosphate uh, potassic fertilizer chloride containing pot potassic fertilizer is mop that is murate of potash where the formula is kcl which contains 60 percent potassium potassium sulfate that is potassium content is 48 to 50 percent and sulfur content is 17.5 percent potassium magnesium sulfate is there 22 percent potassium 11 percent magnesium 22 percent sulfur potassium nitrate and saltpeter is there 44 percent potassium and 13 percent nitrogen so mostly most important question uh, might be asked that kcl is not suitable for which type of crop mostly the sugar crops where the storage material is sugar itself and uh, that that should be translocated into the sink like sugar crop tobacco potato um, that will hinder if there is chloride uh, content will be more so kcl is generally avoided in this type of crop sugar sugar crop tobacco potato this type of crop instead of kcl we must recommend potassium sulfate so this is a brief idea about uh, fertilizers uh, We'll discuss later on different mechanism of fertilizer mobilization and fertilizer mechanism uh, make, um, dynamics in the soil.